KFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. This is the TFNN Noon Update brought to you by Basil Chapman. I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up within a few minutes. That's the next show. And I am the author of the opening call daily newsletter. Let's get to the market. Dow's down 70 at 27,152. Basically been in a trading band since it made the high of 27,398, all time high on the 16th of July. Uh, no big deal, just coming down uh, less than 300 points and uh, trading right now in the lower range of this rectangle formation. Look at the weak, the left side chart. Look at the weak MACD, the moving average convergence divergence. Look at the very weak stochastic down to 69 percent. But the price is the arbiter of the trend. And right now it's just a sideways trend. So watch this closely. If in the next two days you've got uh, Apple earnings this evening, you've got the Fed uh, speak tomorrow. If for whatever reason the Dow starts straight under 27,000, expect a couple of weeks of uh, consolidation to continue. We've already been here for about two and a half weeks. <clears throat> next thing we're looking at is how does the S&P act uh, coming into uh, tomorrow's Fed decision? Well, it's made a high just three days ago at 3,027. It's trading right now at 3,009, down 11 points, a little bit deeper than the Dow. But it's, it's held a 14 period moving average in the left side chart. This black line right here is the 14 period exponential moving average at 3,000. It's held that if it starts to close underneath that, go to the 3,000, uh, 2,900 and 97, 95 area of the next two, three days, that's going to be a problem. In all cases, new highs really recycle to the upside. It's these weekly charts that are going to be really important because so far we haven't made new highs this week, and that could turn into a, some kind of a peak in the S&P. It's already a peak in the, in the uh, Chapman Wave methodology in the uh, Dow. So we're looking at the QQQ, which is the NDX 100. Just a little easier to look at this one. 195.36 is the high of the, wait, let me just double check here. We went to a high of 195.55, and that was just uh, three days ago. We're under that. It must hold 192.20 over the next two days. And gold, gold has acted pretty well here. It's up seven. And the dollar, you talk about gold. Hey, look at the dollar. The dollar is, in fact, up 10. Yes acting very well. I'll talk about more in the next show. Stay tuned. Thanks for being here. Have a